good morning it is monday morning it's the first of may it's the bank holiday monday and it's probably about 10 30 so i'm not in anything me made at the moment apart from my headband um and you can tell i'm not really ready so i came upstairs to sort out my summer bits because obviously it's first may i want to look at my wardrobe in total so the me maids that i'd put away i've pulled out which is what this mess is here behind me that mess over there is washing because it's monday it's like my sunday it's my day to clear up and i've actually moved my me made may rail that i shared with you the other day so just turn it around here so i'll put it back actually Ugh. So because the boys stay um, every other weekend, the rail was blocking the entrance to their room. I need that clear so my partner doesn't lose his hair about the fact that there's gonna be a rail out in our room for the rest of the month. So I can complete this challenge, the joys. But I am pleased to say I sorted through some of my summer stuff. And whilst there's not many, most of you had identified when I put up my vlog that I haven't got many solids and you're absolutely right. I know that that's going to be an issue this month, but I found a pair of Safia trousers. They need ironing, but these are solid. So at least there's another pair of trousers in there. Um, I have got another pair of trousers, but these aren't exactly a solid at all. And I don't think we're going to have the weather for wearing these, but these go part as a set the Friday Pattern Company Saguaro set uh, but I did also find another solid so I found my Sabina skirt in this red so it's just another outfit that I can include where I can probably mix some of my pattern tops um, I do have again I don't think weather wise we'll uh, be able to do it but when I made the Sabina skirt, I also made a saguaro top, which was the back and back version. Um, it's a little bit cropped, but maybe with my black peppermint cardi, I could get away with putting that on. So I'm just thinking there's another solid there is all I'm saying. Um, and then, I know this isn't plain, but it's a bit of an easier t-shirt to try and match up because it's white and it's just got these tigers on it. Oh. So I'm just thinking I have got a few options now or it feels like I've got a few more. There's a few dresses here. I need to sort them out and get them on the rail. So I would ordinarily have stayed like this today because I'm not really planning to do anything. I'm going out in the garden. I'm doing a bit of sewing and i will probably do some more buttons um and the only thing i will go out to do is to pop and see my mum um and because it's something that i do every week um i wouldn't get dressed up for that but in the spirit of me made may i'm going to try and have a look at what i've got in my wardrobe and see if there's something that i could wear that's comfy and that i'm not too fussed um about being out in the garden with and what have you i might try and dig out some of my me made joggers so i'm going to go off and get dressed and then i'll come back and show you what i've chosen for what i'm doing today out of my me made wardrobe okay okay so what i have gone for because as i said at the beginning i'm just around the house I would ordinarily have stayed in comfies, but because I've decided to do this outfit a day, I've gone off and found some clothes that I would wear that I'm not too fussed if I'm gonna be in the garden and making bits and getting covered in rubbish. So the t-shirt is the Ellie and Mac adult sized tee. Now I made this last year. When I actually made it, this was really tight on me. I actually much prefer the fit of it now um, because obviously I've lost lost a stone and a half since I last wore this but it's just a nice sort of um, boxy shaped tee this is a slightly um, thicker cotton 
this is a cotton jer uh, jersey not a viscose jersey sorry that's probably the best way of explaining it um so it gives a more structured look whereas i have got other ellie and mac adult tees and viscose jersey that gives a really nice drapey look but this is fine for what i need then trousers wise let me pan you down so trousers wise you may recognise this fabric because I shared the fact that I'd bought some more and I think I'd explained that when I made these, I didn't ma these were one of my first ever makes. So these are a simplicity pattern and you can see here, they're just sitting too low on my waistband and at the back, they should really have a waistband, ignore the tramp stamp guys, but yeah, they should really, so they sit really low. So when I bend over, which I won't do for you, I find that they ride down and they're fine, they're comfortable to wear, you know, the crotch is at a comfortable length, um, but I actually think pairing these together, I've done quite well and I will take a photo of me fully head to toe so you guys can see and actually see what it all looks like. Because I'm at home and I'm doing stuff, I like to keep my hair out the way, so I've just bunged it up and I do have one of my me made um, sort of jersey headbands put on which happens to be in purple as well. These trousers have purple swells all over them. So I think for a comfy day, for somebody who doesn't have an awful lot of solids, um, this is perfect. Um, and I've managed to pull an outfit together that I can wear around the house and just get on with stuff. So we're on day one, guys. And I found that an interesting exercise. Let's see how the rest of this week goes. So hopefully the picture's gone in of me and I will see you tomorrow where it is a work day and I am working from home. Good morning, it is Tuesday the 2nd of May and the second day of my me made wardrobe. So today I had a quick look through my rack and looked at what I had in there and thought, right, you're working from home, you like to be comfortable, you get quite cold when you're sitting for long periods of time, so what is it you want to put on? So I kind of thought secret pyjamas would be a great idea. So I found my Ellie and Mac South Shore romper, which is a long leg and I will pop a full picture in so you can see it. Let me just pan you down a little bit because I might be able to show you a little bit of it. So I've popped my belt on with it. It does come with a tight belt and then you can see here it's just long legged. I prefer this belt to the tie belt. I think it just gives it that more structured look. To be fair, I'd probably say it's a little bit smart from working from home. But the reason why I haven't reached for this particular jumpsuit very often is because I made it short sleeved, but I've made it in a knit fabric. So it's quite warm. So when it gets warm outside, it's too hot to wear. And because it's got poly in it, you sweat and it's just not nice. Um, whereas in the winter, it's not warm enough because you've got no sleeves. So obviously you can layer it with a cardi, but sometimes I just like to have one layer on. But I'm working from home and I always find I get a bit chilly. So this I thought would be perfect because it's nice and warm for sitting in the house. It's very comfortable. Um, it's got a gorgeous wrap over bodice and I actually think it's really flattering on my figure. I will pop a picture in so you can see it in full form. But I'm really pleased with this choice. I don't think I've worn this for nearly a year. So it's been quite a while since I've actually worn it. Um, so yeah, happy with day two's choice. So I'll wear this to work from home today. And then tonight when I finish in true Becky style, and I will pop on and show you, I will probably shove some comfies on for the evening. But they will be me made as well. Um, and if you remember rightly, the one thing I said that I was allowed to repeat was my comfies because I've only got a few sets. Um, so I'll only show you the sets that I've got um, as we go through the month so you don't get a consistent, I am wearing the same thing every day kind of thing. So I will see you all um, maybe a little bit later today, if not certainly tomorrow, to share what I'm wearing then. So guys, it is Tuesday evening now, losing track of time, um, and I wanted to talk to you about my outfit this morning. So I have put some Me Made Comfies on. These are my Tilly and the Buttons Stella Joggers. Got a lovely navy tag on it. I do have a hoodie that desperately needs an iron because this literally goes in the wash and out of the wash. And this will go on later as I cool down again. 
This is the Tinny and the Buttons Stella hoodie that I've got a lovely navy ribbon on. I will pop in a picture of the full hoodie so you can see. Um, and then I'm wearing it with my Ellie and the Mac adult sized oversized tee, adult oversized tee. And I always tuck this bit in here as I feel it just makes it look a little bit better. Um, but I want to talk to you about this. So this is obviously my outfit from earlier today. And I fully remember why this isn't getting much wear. So this morning I talked about the fact that it's knit fabric and it's polyester, so it makes you sweat. Now I have sat at a desk the majority of the day. Very, very comfortable. It is like wearing pajamas all day and you look very, very smart and presentable on screen. But I've got to be honest, I smelt by the end of the day. And I know that's a horrible thing to share with you guys, but it's the problem with polyester fabric. Even with deodorant on, it didn't make a difference. It just, you sweat through it. So I think this is going to be one that doesn't make it in my wardrobe long term. And, you know, the whole point of this exercise and this challenge is, is that I am wearing my stuff, different a different outfit every day, which will then encourage me to wear stuff that I haven't worn for a while, remind me why I'm not wearing it. And what it is I need to do with it at the end of the month. Am I just going to say, right, that's it. I'm not wearing that again. Um, and I think this is going to have to be one because I was so conscious of myself. I'm just pleased I was at home. So, yeah, that's the South Shore romper. The pattern, the, um, the actual pattern's brilliant. It's a case of wrong choice of fabric. And I will be making this again because I really, really like it. So I'm going to make another couple of versions of this because it's really comfortable and actually I think it's quite work appropriate. So when I go in the office, if I had this in a black jersey, this would be perfect for work. So I'm not ruling out the pattern. The pattern's great, fits my shape. The fabric is just completely the wrong choice. I have a top in the same fabric and I don't have the same problem with it, but it is a, a looser fitting top. It's the itch to stitch Sibiu top. So I don't know whether because it's a looser fitting top, but I didn't do anything today. Literally sat at my desk, sat at my desk and walked over the road to the club to check the beer pumps for them um, because they needed somebody to do it today. And outside of that, that was it. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to share my comfies with you, my experience with that outfit. And I will catch you in the morning where I am in the office and being, um, what's the word? responsible parent tomorrow because I'm going to a engage program that they're looking at putting my daughter on um to to support her so I have to go dress the part as parent and go into the office dressed the part so be interesting to see what I choose tomorrow catch you later good morning it's Wednesday the 3rd of May so my me made outfit for today is um a Tammy handmade Raj dress out of a Lady McElroy fabric. Now, I mentioned yesterday that I am off to a induction program that the school are supporting my daughter with to help for her mental health. Um, so we're going to meet them today and have a look around. So I'm a little bit nervous and I felt like I needed to put something on that made me feel confident as a parent. And then on top of that, I'm in the office today. So I always need to be a little bit smarter. Now, I expected to be trying on lots of different things because I wanted a air of confidence. Um, but actually, I put this on and I felt very confident in it and was very pleased to be wearing it. Now, what I will say, because this is made out of a cotton lawn, one of the reasons I think I don't reach for it as much is because A, it's slightly smarter and dressier, and B, I'm always a little bit conscious about this bit here because it has got these beautiful dolman sleeves, and in a viscose, it's got a bit more drape, whereas this has got a bit more structure. But I must admit, I'm really happy with it. Let me stand up so you can see. And I think when you stand up, you get the full view. Um, and this fabric is just stunning. So it's got these gorgeous birds all over it. And it's non-directional, so they're going in all angles. It's got this lovely square nine neck, which isn't too low. You can see when I bend over doesn't cause any problems. Now I sized down on the last one I made of this and I do feel 
that um, because I have lost a bit of weight, I probably, that would probably sit better, which is the shoulder line. I don't know how much you can see that, but it serves a purpose. I feel very confident, very smart. Um, and yeah, I was quite pleased not to be trying on several different things this morning. I'm wearing some of my handmade earrings, which are, um, they're just like a white colour, really. Um, but yeah, I just thought that they went quite nicely. They don't pull anything out of the outfit, but they're fairly simple and demure, demure, demure in comparison to some of my louder earrings, which is what I usually go for. And actually in the office, they wouldn't expect anything less, but because I'm meeting one of the teachers there and all sorts, I just want to be a little bit smart. So yes, that's me for today. Um, I will get home tonight. I'll shove my comfies back on, but they'll be the same comfies I was wearing last night. So it will be tomorrow that you will get to see. Again, I'm in the office tomorrow. So I will be making a choice based on something that I feel is office appropriate. Um, I am starting to panic. I was looking at my wardrobe this morning and obviously we're only three days in and I've had three days worth of outfits and I don't actually think I'm going to have enough to do the whole month of a different outfit every day. So it'll be really interesting to see how this challenge evolves because I do think that there isn't enough there, um, which is good. I mean, if that happens, I'll just rework what I've already worn, but um, yeah little bit surprised by that so I will pop a picture or hopefully have popped a picture in of me fully in this outfit so you can see it and I'll catch you all tomorrow bye good morning it's Thursday so I'm getting ready and I just wanted to show you something before I change so I tried on my Tilly in the buttons dress with the Marnie sleeves and clearly I've lost weight as you can see this is a lot bigger than it should be and also I think these, whereas normally I have to do a narrow shoulder adjustment, I obviously didn't do one on this. And because they're sitting so far over, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the colours of this dress, but they're sitting far too far over. So this is going to have to be recycled or repurposed for something. I really don't feel comfortable or confident in it, given it just makes me feel broader because these are far too over. And... Although the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress is a loose dress and I have a few, this is just too much for me in the sense of being loose and the shoulders are just not where they're supposed to be. So I'm going to change. So I have changed. I am now in my Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress. This is, I still need to put my makeup on guys. This is a hack version that I did. So instead of it being, I will pop a full picture in. Instead of it having the tears to it, I've just extended it out to be a midi and it just fits uh, lovely and it's warm. It's like a cotton jersey. This fabric came from Rainbow Fabrics. I've had this for a while and whilst I can feel that this is getting looser on me with the weight loss, it still fits okay because it's got that stretch in it. So I will pop a picture in for you guys to see me fully made up and I'll catch you tomorrow when I'm working from home. Morning, it's Friday the 5th of May and it's day five of Me Made May. So I have tried on my Zadie jumpsuit this morning to wear and already worked out why I'm not wearing it. So it's just too big is the problem and this fabric's got a lot of give in it. So by the end of the day, I now remember why it just looks so big and baggy on the side. Plus, can you see? The missed place embroidery. I know I talked about this when I originally made it. So I'm not going to wear this. I'm going to change. But I wanted to show you that I tried it on. And I wanted to show you the reason why I'm not looking to wear. I mean, if I just pan you down. It's, it's wearable. It is wearable. But it's just, there's too much room. It's too much give at the back. And as the fabric starts to ease, as I wear it a little bit more, bearing in mind this has been washed and put on I think it will just give too much so at least I know that is why this isn't being worn and this one can be either repurposed or taken out of my wardrobe for some of the reasons so let me see what else I'm going to wear today and I will show you so 
I've put on my other Zadie because I'm working from home today so I want something that's comfortable and just easy to wear a little bit like secret pajamas now I do remember why I don't wear this one so much because it fits fine since I've had the weight loss because it was originally a bit too tight on me but I don't know whether it's the fabric that I've made this in or the way that I've done just trying to see if I can show you so the inside here uh, it's not going to come up out there you go all of these corners of this raw edge itch and all around here I can feel the seam lines itching me and I don't think it's the fabric because I've used this fabric for so many other makes um, I don't know whether it's the thread or just the combination of both but I've got itchy points here, itchy points here, and itchy points here. So I'm gonna take this one off as well because I wanna be comfortable today. Um, and I'll probably try another Zadie on to wear, but I just wanted to share with you why I'm not wearing for this and working out why I'm not reaching for these. I do love this Zadie, don't get me wrong. It's just really nice and fits lovely. But that itchiness is driving me around the bend and I can feel it down in my legs now as well. So it's just all of the raw seam lines. The actual fabric itself doesn't itch um, and it's a lovely sort of soft viscosity linen fabric. So I don't really know what it is. But let me try something else on and show you. This is going to be a morning of changing, I can see. So this is my Tilly and the Buttons um, dress that I made. Oh last year um, and this was before I got the tweaks perfect so I did extra long waist ties so I could actually instead of just having it to the back I can do this to really bring it in and have that tie at the front so you can see it just gives an extra detail and I like that but like with Tilly's patterns with my sewing evolving I need to do narrow shoulder adjustments so to get that to sit where I want it to sit obviously I can't do that with the neckline but to get it to sit where I want it to sit I need to do a narrow adjustment narrow shoulder adjustment now I know I'm only working from home and I'm being silly but the whole point of this challenge is that I'm working out why I'm not wearing things and I just feel it just gives me too much of a broad shoulder on me I mean I don't even know if it's coming across in the way in the camera that it's coming across in the mirror that's behind you that I keep looking in because it's just, it's just, it looks like there's a bit on the end. So I'm going to change one more time and this one's going to go in that nice pile that's amalgamating over there um, as one of the things that I can repurpose. There's plenty of fabric here so I can repurpose this and I like this fabric. So um, let me take this off and put something else on. Okay, gone for my good old favourite Zadie jumpsuit that I love to wear. I'm going to stick some earrings on to match this. I think I'm going to stick my purple earrings on, which are here. And this one is made up in the size that I made the grey one up in. Obviously, the grey is a sort of viscose linen, so there's a bit of structure to that one, whereas this one is made in a viscose. So it's really lightweight and it's drapey so in the areas where it's bigger because of the drape in it you can get away with it so I think I, I mean this one is one I wear all the time but I think that's the reason why so yeah I'm quite happy after having a good fiddle around with what was going on I've managed to eliminate there's a pile over there but there's one two three four four different outfits out of my wardrobe that I'm not wearing for any particular reason that I either need to think about repurposing or doing something with. So I think it's been quite productive from that point of view. And I'm gonna go downstairs and get on with what I'm doing work-wise. I will pop a picture in of the final garment of what I'm actually wearing. Um, and if I get a chance a bit later this afternoon, I'll go back and take photos of me in those so you can get the full picture as to why I'm not wearing them because I think seeing them on screen just with me half my body probably won't show you so I will try and do that a little bit later and add them into the clips um so yeah tomorrow is Saturday obviously it's the weekend um which means it's a bit more of a casual affair at home 
Um, so we'll see what I come up with that. Finding the casual day is harder than the work days. So really enjoying this, but it's going to be interesting to see how it evolves. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Saturday the 6th of May. It's day six of me made May. And it's day six of my challenge to wear a different outfit every morning, every morning, every day. Um, and today I am wearing my Billy sweatshirt from Tilly and the Buttons. It's quite a recent make. I've put ribbon on it because the fabric's not got a huge amount of stretch in it. It is long sleeved, but in true Becky style, I do like to roll up. And I do have this on with my Sabina skirt from the Little Pomegranate. Try and pan you down without dropping you because I've already filmed this twice and I keep dropping you. So there we go. But I will pop a full leather picture in so you can see what it looks like together. But I'm quite happy with this pairing. This skirt I'm still unsure of, I must admit. It was one that I made last year. I wasn't too sure of it last year. I'm still not sure of it, but I'm going to wear it today and see how I feel at the back end of the day. I do feel sometimes it gives a little bit more around the waist area, the belly that I'm most conscious of when I'm wearing clothes. Um, I have the same problem with my other Sabina skirt, which is this one here that needs an iron. So yeah, I'm just kind of conscious of it, but I'm gonna continue giving them a go. Obviously, and now I've found my Maeve skirt pattern, which I absolutely love. Um, I will have a skirt pattern, I just need to make a few more up and clearly, in plain colours. So I just want to show you my me made wardrobe and where we're at with it because I've expressed concerns that there's a possibility I might not have enough clothes to complete this challenge. So here's the rail. See what I mean? She's already looking a bit bare. So I've been thinking about maybe trying to pair these two. I mean it's a bit of a pattern clash but I think it could work. And then I've got a few different dresses that I can also um, wear, which will take my number of days up. But I know there'll be some fit issues with some of those dresses. But we'll keep going. We'll see how this continues. Tomorrow's my last day of my first week in Me Made May. So I will do a brief roundup in tomorrow's video. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, it's Sunday, it's day seven of Me Made May and I'm here to show you what I'm wearing today and talk through a few bits. Now, I just wanted to pop on because I'm not actually going to wear this today. I wanted to show you another outfit that I just am not comfortable in. So this was the original Marnie that I made and this was before I really sized down. And whilst it's viscose, you can get away with it and it's not as bad on the shoulder. But when you look up close, you see where the shoulder line is on it? It's just far too far down. And it's because I I wasn't quite sure how I'd make the adjustment when I made it. And I, you know, it was my first attempt. It was it was like a wearable toile. So, um, but obviously what I ended up doing with the Marnie is sizing down, which is a shame because I absolutely love this. Now this is a dress, um, it's the only dress I've made, but it does feel very short as well. Um, so I need to wear a dress today because I have um, quite badly burnt my leg. So um, that was the steam iron. So I'm just trying to find something to wear that doesn't cling. Um, and obviously it's Sunday in this house, so it means it's a bit of housework day. So dresses aren't really the most practical thing for that, but I'm sure there'll be something in here. But I wanted to show you this because this is going to go on my pile here, which I'll talk you through in a minute. And because I'm trying on dresses, I've got a couple of Tilly and the Buttons ones that I'm going to try on and we might find that we have the same problem. So bear with me. I will be back with the next outfit. So... We have another Tilly in the Buttons dress. Again, this is one that I haven't done a narrow shoulder adjustment on. You're probably getting a bit of a theme. Now I have realized in my recent makes over the last few months, which, and this was done last summer. And again, you can see the shoulder is here and it bothers me because it should be here. See how much, how much is there? And this is in a viscose, and I find the viscose ones are worse than any cotton ones that I've got. The cotton ones do sit slightly higher. Um, and this one itself, 
I made it too long, far too long. So let me spin you around. I'm going to show you. I'll print it back. It's really long. Um, and it's supposed to be oversized, which I don't mind because I can cinch it in with a belt. But yeah, there's just, there's far too much here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to salvage my beautiful red buttons. I'm going to, um, and then see, because there's lots of fabric in this dress, see if I can make something else out of this one. So let's try on one more outfit, see if we can get one for today. Um, I, I do lack casual dresses. I have noticed that. And obviously I'm around the house and I'm doing housework. So I don't really want to wear a nice, nice dress, but I need something that's not going to hurt my leg. So let's go again. Okay, we found one to wear today, although I have noticed there is some discoloration on the fabric, but it's fine for what I need around the house. So I don't know if you can see this line here, and there's also one here. It's almost like sunlight damage, which is really annoying. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Lotter dress. Now this one is actually in the size up to what I'd normally wear because I made this oh god I think at the beginning of last year um and it's a midi length but I think it's perfect for what I need it's very very comfortable it's very casual and I can wear it and not expose that top part of my leg um to clothing where it's just going to stick to the wound I need to go and get some bandages for it but this is also one that I can leave the house in as well so you can tell I've changed a few times now. So I will put some makeup on in a bit and I will pop a picture in here for you to see what the final outfit looks like. But given the discoloration and the damage, this may be one that I don't keep. But considering I'm not really going anywhere today, this one is fine to wear um, and the oversizedness doesn't bother me. So week one, we have done week one. And you will notice here, I now have quite a pile of clothes that just don't fit me right don't like fabric or you know there's lots here so the first one is and most of them if frustratingly are Tilly and the buttons and it's because of this narrow shoulder issue and where I've lost weight it's as simple as that I think the shoulders got worse because I've lost weight if that makes sense but it's good this is a good exercise it's a really really good exercise and you know that I still make the Tilly and the Buttons dress I've made one recently and I'll pop a picture in here fits me fine I did the narrow shoulder adjustment and I also sized down on it so clearly it is a weight loss thing to some extent but I am taking large chunks out of my wardrobe I'm going to run out of things to wear by the end of the month. So this is one of the dresses. Now, again, it's a really long dress. So there's a good chunk of fabric here that I could probably reuse. So that's going to go into the recycled pile. This fabric was a fabric that I got from eBay um, and it's paisley and I love paisley and it's purple and I love purple. So I'm definitely going to see if I can at least salvage some of the fabric from that dress. Um, but like I said, it's a big dress, so there should be some there for me to salvage from. The next one's the one you've just seen me put on, which is the Tilly and the Buttons Liver dress. Again, too long, lots of fabric and that shoulder adjustment really needed to be done and I think when I made it I, I actually that was the one that made me go you need to start doing narrow shoulders adjustments but I've kept it in my wardrobe because I was reluctant to give it up because I made it and it took lots of time and I enjoy the fabric so yeah so again there's lots of fabric to play with on this one I think I might try and get a high cuff sweater out of this because I think there's enough fabric there to do it. So um, it'd be a nice way of salvaging it. If not, I will patchwork. So I'll cut these up into patchwork pieces and put them in a pile to make, you know, a patchwork type dress. I've got quite a few recycled, not recycled, but leftover pieces of fabric that I do use to repurpose. Because um, I do like a bit of upcycling or repurposing or refashioning garments as well. Um, I did try and start a series on it at the beginning of the year, but I got ill and it all went out the window. So this one here, again, another one that you've seen this morning is the Marnie. Now this has got panels on it, so I don't know how much I'm going to save from it. But if I can save it and turn it into anything else, I certainly will because I love this. Black and white is a colour that really suits me and um, 
yeah i like this fabric this was one that i got from one of tamlin's d-stash accounts it's just a shame that that shoulder is so far over but we'll try and salvage some fabric these two i don't think i'm going to be able to salvage so these are zadie jumpsuits and i mentioned last week when i did my first opening about what i'm doing these were two i didn't wear but I, you know we'll try them on we'll see how we get on through me mad may to see if i am going to start wearing them this one fits great and i actually really like it but the reason i'm not wearing it and didn't realize is every seam line in it itches the hell out of me so um i'm not sure whether that's a fabric thing because i've got a couple of things made in this fabric and i don't have any problems with it um i've got another jumpsuit in this fabric so i don't know um or whether it's just the purple overlocker thread that i've used i'm not sure i don't know is my honest answer to that one so i don't think i'm going to be able to recycle that fabric so that's going to be one that yeah maybe give it to a charity shop maybe my skin's just extra sensitive and this one here this embroidered one Again, this one I will be giving to a charity shop because the only reason I'm not wearing it, you see, this one is the same fabric as this. They're all from the same kind of, um, uh, yeah, I know what I mean. You might know what I mean. Um, but this one just is far too big. So that's the reason I'm not getting the wear out of this one. So those two need to be rehomed. And then finally, another Tilly in the button, Buttons lot of dress where the narrow shoulder adjustment is just causing the problem. Um, so I am going to, you see, I've done the skirt a bit shorter on this one. So I don't know how much of this fabric I'm going to salvage, but I'm going to try and salvage some of this fabric because I absolutely love it. Now, it was inexpensive. I bought this from my favourite eBay seller, which is Crystals 9's, Crystals 9 over on eBay. And... Um, it wasn't expensive fabric. So I'll salvage the buttons because I've got some lovely mint buttons on there, which I think I got from eBay as well. Um, maybe try and salvage the tag, salvage what I can from it. If I can get anything out of it, or maybe if I can just get some patchwork um, out of it, some big sort of block squares that I can match up with some other fabric that I've got um, to make sort of like a scrappy garment, then I'll do that because Waste not one up. Um, so yes, that is the last thing. So I have got rid of one, two, three, four, five. So in week one, there are six me made May, me made May, six me made outfits that I am not gonna wear that need to be refashioned, repurposed, or rehomed. Um, so we're in week one, my wardrobe's already starting to look bare got some work to do really so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this week's me made may and that you found all of this um useful or inspiring for you to take a good look at your wardrobe maybe you're taking part in me made may and you're doing a similar sort of challenge to me and you found this interesting from that perspective um but i'm hoping either way it's encouraging you to take a good look at your wardrobes and see what you're wearing and what you're not wearing and why you're not wearing them um so that's it for this week i will be putting out another vlog next sunday where i'm sharing what i'm wearing next week i'm going to do this all through the month of may and hopefully you enjoy this kind of content and let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on anything that i've shared through this um if this is something you're enjoying i'd really like to know and yeah, have a fantastic week. Enjoy the bank holiday weekend. Don't forget to give this vlog a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.